Hello everyone and welcome to Raccoon's Radio Ranch. If this is your first time here, please hit the like button. Hit the share to share this video with your friends. Hit subscribe to subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. In this video, I'm going to do something a little different. We're going to give a shout out to a couple commenters from down below. First is Chris Sicking who says, Best intro music on YouTube. Good review also. Well, thank you very much, Chris. I appreciate the good comments, and I will do my best to keep uploading entertaining videos in the future. And next is Ron Shapik, who I hope I pronounced that correctly for. Says, nice video, my tower toppled in a storm in 2010. I got a few radios, and new people putting out videos is getting me motivated to erect it. Well, thank you very much, Ron, and I hope that you get your tower up soon. If you do, go to Channel 12 when the skip's rolling in and look for me and my friends. We're always there talking. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about the top 10 export radios for 2021. But, before we do that, we're going to answer the question... What are export radios? So if you already know what they are, then forward to the 4 minute marker and zip on by this section. According to CBRadioMagazine.com, an export radio is a radio designed to be sold overseas and therefore it can be produced and sold without having to meet with the FCC regulations. In many cases, a 4 watt CB with a well tuned antenna will work just fine. But for shooting skip or talking farther away locally, you may need more than 4 watts. And when that happens, that is where export radios come in. Older export radios average between 25 to 100 watts. But the newer export radios can go as high as 400 watts. That's a lot. CB radios usually have channels 1 through 40. but an export radio can go into what is called the freeband frequencies, which are 25.615 to 26955, which are all the frequencies below channel 1 on the CB, and 27415 to 27995, which are all the frequencies above channel 40 on the CB. Anything above 28 MHz is on the 10 meter band, which are amateur radio frequencies. So you want to stay below 28 MHz unless you are a licensed ham operator. So there, now we have covered what export radios are. Now, we're going to address the top 10 export radios for 2021. Coming in at number 10 is the Stryker SR655 HPC. The Stryker SR655 has AM and FM, 7 color displays, variable power control, which can go 35 to 80 watts peak, 5 band VFO selector, PC programmable, built-in echo, and six Roger beeps. Coming in at number nine is the President Lincoln 2 Plus. The President Lincoln 2 Plus is AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband, and has CW. It has a VOX function, variable RF power control, 
35 to 50 watts peak, a VFO selector, a dual watch feature, and a Roger Beep. Coming in at number eight is the RCI 2950CD. The RCI 2950CD has AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband, and CW. It has a new LED display the old 2950s had an LCD display. It also has new power supply protection, variable output power, which is 20 to 40 watts, a Roger Beep, and an improved receiver. Coming in at number seven is the RCI 2950DX6. The 2950DX6 has AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband, and CW. It also has the new LED display, new power supply protection, variable output power, which is 30 to 100 watts, and that's the difference between the two 2950s. It also has the Roger Beep and an improved receiver. At number six is the Galaxy DX94HP. The DX94HP has AM, upper sideband, and lower sideband. It also has a Starlight faceplate, talkback, variable output, which is 40 to 100 watts, a Roger Beep, and variable receive. Coming in at number five is the Galaxy DX98 VHP. The Galaxy 98 VHP has AM, upper sideband, and lower sideband. It also has the Starlight faceplate, talkback, variable output power, which is a 200 watt maximum, the Roger Beep, variable receive, and built in echo. Coming in at numbers four, three, and two will all be the same model, but they vary in wattage. Coming in at number four is the RCI 2970N2. The RCI 2970N2 has AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband, has a variable output power of 2 to 200 watts, a Roger Beep, an improved receiver, and it also has the new power supply protection. Coming in at number three, is the RCI 2970N3. The RCI 2970N3 is the same as the RCI 2970N2. It has AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband, variable output power of two to 300 watts, a Roger Beep, the improved receiver, and the new power supply protection. Coming in at number two 
is the RCI 2970 N4. The RCI 2970 N4 is also like the two previous RCI 2970s. It has the AM, the FM, the upper sideband, and the lower sideband. Variable output power, but its wattage is 2 to 400 watts. It has the Roger Beep improved receiver and the new power supply protection. And coming in at number one is the Stryker SR955HP. The Stryker SR955HPC or HP has AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband, variable output power, 2 to 90 watts, 6 Roger beeps, 7 color display, a built-in echo with dual control and talkback. This radio was chosen as number one because of its capabilities on sideband and on AM as well and not because of its amount of watts. This is an excellent performing radio when you're on the airwaves and always gets good reports. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and like and share. I am not in any way affiliated or sponsored by any of the companies that are mentioned in this video. I am only recommending their equipment based on my 25 plus years experience of using various equipment that they've made on the air myself. Thank you.